Here's a quick uh, 85 E30 update. I've got it up in the air and I've been hearing this transmission whine even when the car is not moving as soon as I let the clutch out and it's neutral. Um, actually, sorry, not neutral. If I let the, no, yeah, neutral. If I let the clutch out and it's in neutral and the input shaft is spinning, I can hear this, uh, a lot of transmission noise. So what I did is I put it up in the air and I decided to check the fill plug, which is right there to see if there's fluid in it. When I put my finger in it, as far as I can go, I don't feel anything. It's like it's dry. So that explains the noise. So I ordered the pump. I'm gonna put new uh, ETF in it. We should be good to go. Then I can also show you a little bit of the turbo setup while it's up in the air. So down here on the floor, I have the three inch exhaust that was just temporary. It actually came off of this green car back here at one time. It's one of the very first things I ever welded up. So it's my muffler. And then I kind of hacked it together right around here to make it fit onto this car. It's got a three inch V band right there. And it goes, let's see if I can get this bright enough, not really. So, get the light out. So up here, there's my downpipe with the three inch V band. You can see my tile 44 millimeter wastegate. It's a genuine unit. Um, and you can look up there, you can see my turbo manifold. That's from Blunt Tech. This is the Chinese welded version, not the hand welded version. And you can see everything else that's going on around here. There's no CCV on this car. Um, there's no idle control valve on this car. See my drain pan right here. And I am terrible at terminating these lines. I have to redo it because it's leaking like a sieve. You can see the uh, oil spot down there on the floor. And it just drips, it's not terrible. And it doesn't really leak any worse when it's running. Um, so yeah, we're gonna pull this turbo setup out. And then I think this chassis, what's gonna have happen is we're gonna leave the engine and transmission in it. We're probably gonna turn it into a rally car. So that's why I wanna make sure this transmission's still good. This is a uh, Getrack 250. It should be fine for rally use. It's got uh, E21 mounts back here, and it's got uh, E34, I think M5 or 535i motor mounts up front. I need to go through here. These lines are all rusty and nasty. They need to be replaced. And yes, I believe that top one is my brake line for the rear brakes, which I've already had one failure of. You come back here, you can see how long this car's been sitting because there's basically a nest up in my wheel and this is after I've been driving the car around. It's pretty crazy. You can also see that I put this differential in temporarily and it's missing four of the eight bolts for each axle stub when you side. But it still runs and drives. How about that? So yeah, we're gonna fix all the uh, major issues that would keep this from passing uh, inspection. So some of this rust there, that kind of thing, we're gonna weld it up. You can see over here, a long, long time ago, I put this plate in and welded it in. There's still a little bit of a gap back here, but I cut that out of the floor and welded that in probably, oh, six years ago at least. So yeah, we're gonna um, fix her up, get it to pass safety, probably cage it, and go racing, hopefully. And of course, this is in the future. It's after the uh, turbo project's complete. But I've got a chassis sitting here. I might as well do something cool with it. All right, so that's my update.